The Santa Barbara Half Marathon is this Sunday, November 3rd, with a full weekend of fun events planned. We are joined by David Monaco, the event director for the Santa Barbara Half. David, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much, Krista. I'm so excited to be here. It's race week. This is big for our staff. Mm -hmm. It's big for my family. Uh, yeah. It's a year round production, so it's just it's great to finally be here. Yeah, I mean, we're excited to talk about it. It's a big deal. I have some friends that are running the half, too, awesome. so it's great to talk about this. Cool. All right, so I know that this race draws in a lot of people from different cities, different countries. Yeah. What does it mean to host a race that has so much of that diversity? Yeah, you know, I think about Santa Barbara as just like this incredible canvas to like hold an event. Um, and so to be welcoming over 6,000 participants, there's 15 countries represented, wow. almost all 50 states. I'm still working on South Dakota <laughs> next year. Um, and it's just, it means a lot. We have, again, it's just such a perfect community to have this like bucket list half marathon. Yeah, and I mean, it's such a beautiful place too. So, you know, we got to get the South Dakota <laughs> folks here as well. So the race was at 2,000 runners back in 2021. And you yeah. just mentioned it grew 4,000, we're up to 6,000 now. Yeah. What does that mean for you? You know, I'll actually plug our artist of the year, Maddie Manson from Loudflower at Haley, uh, off of Haley Street. Mm -hmm. She uh, created this beautiful um, metal design and the participant shirt this year. And she has a tagline called Moving Together Brings Us Together. Okay. And it's not just about the runners, but I think for us on the staff who produce the event, it's the businesses, it's all the government agencies that are involved. And it truly takes the entire community to like pull this off, especially with such rapid growth. Mm -hmm. So we're just, we're thankful for the community to allow us to, to do this. Yeah, I mean, it brings everyone together. I love it. And running, of course, it's so healthy for you as well. So great thing to do together. You recently announced a multi-year partnership with Hoka. That's in Goleta, along with UCLA, the 5K. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we have incredible partners. Uh, Hoka and UCLA Health, of course, uh, at, the, <laughs> at the top end, our presenting sponsors. Um, and it allows us to have a full weekend of events, really even a full week of events. It started on Monday at Topa Topa. Uh, mm -hmm. Deckers held a community run there. And then Friday and Saturday, we have our Palm Park Festival at the Carousel House. Um, and it's open and free to the public. So I wanna invite everybody down on Friday and Saturday. Friday afternoon, we have Soul Majestic, local reggae band. Mm -hmm. uh, DJ Darla B is uh, our house DJ for the weekend. Uh, so we have a ton of fun. So it's great to have those partners to allow us to do these things and bring people over for free as well. So even if you're not a runner, you can still go to these other events yeah. too and get involved in this. Yep. So I want to talk a little bit about the half marathon yeah. itself. Where does it start? What's the path? What can runners expect? Yeah, so we start on State Street right over by the Amtrak uh, station and it mm -hmm. heads out to uh, the Dolphin Fountain. Okay. Uh, I don't want to ruin all the surprises, but okay. I will say there's going to be mariachis that are going to be <gasps> welcoming everybody right from the get-go. Uh, and then they uh, run along the waterfront, our beautiful waterfront here. Um, and then uniquely, they wind through downtown and okay. actually have a State Street finish line. So it's okay. just like this really high energy, like fun, unique half marathon, not just for the running community, but especially here in Santa Barbara. Oh my gosh, I love it. So there are surprises too. We've got a little bit of a teaser here as well. Are you gonna be running yourself? I wish, we're, uh, we're working not quite 24 hours a day okay. around the clock, but we have an early morning to get barricades up, get all the tents up and uh -huh. all that. And um, I also wanna plug, uh, we have an incredible, uh, for the first time, a full volunteer local medical team. Awesome. Uh, it's led by Jason George, a local nurse, and the Westmont Nursing Program, which I know ooh, you're ooh, an ooh. alumni yes. of Westmont. Um, and so again, it it's really everyone, the entire community that brings us together. I love it. This is something I love about the Central Coast. You know, everyone comes together yeah. to, you know, just really do the best for everyone. There's something for all ages, runners or not, you know, everyone can get involved. So we yeah. got a little bit of a teaser here for more information on the half marathon. You can visit SantaBarbaraHalf.com. David, thank you again for joining us and good luck to all the runners on Sunday. Thank you.